This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, uh, we're going to get into the academics and uh, Adam22 thing in a minute. I mean, that was hilarious. And I get why academics is mad. I would be mad too. Uh, he just wasn't making a lot of sense during it. But uh, we'll, we'll get into that. So uh, we got Drake. and So Vibes Cartel takes Drake's side. Uh, he posts up a couple things just supporting Drake. I mean... Nothing crazy. Movado and Drake have a problem for some reason. All right. Vibes cartel throughout the 2000s. Movado came back at Drake's neck. Diss track. Enemy lines. You were not from Dancehall. You have no power in Dancehall. And everybody know who introduced you to Dancehall. So don't feel like you can come and disrespect Gully. Take that out of your brain and don't do it again. That's what Movado said. In response to Drake. Because Drake was saying, so I don't know what he said to Movado. Because it was in Patois. Uh, it was in Canadian Patois. <laughs> but anyways, um, you know, Vibes Cartel just had Drake's back in that. He didn't really say, say much. He put some clips below. It is what it is. Some people were backing Drake. That's all you got to know. I don't know why Drake's picking a fight with Mavado anyways. It's so retarded. Uh, okay, we'll get to that. Uh... Oh, info on FBG Duck. He had a pole on him, but, or a stick, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, uh, it jammed, unfortunately, and uh, we lost uh, FBG Duck. Again, condolences to his family and friends. I know he's had a lot of problems with certain rappers in Chicago. Um, we don't know where this is from. He might have had problems with a lot of people, not just rappers. Um, and it's very sad when this happens, okay? This is nonsense. Uh, Mayor Lightfoot, get your city, you know, like, stop. I don't, any mayor of Chicago can never fix the problem in Chicago because they don't care. They only care. And this happened. Maybe they'll care now because this happened down um, in the, like, the Fifth Avenue part of Chicago. They don't care when it happens in the hood. But maybe they'll care now. Maybe Mayor Lightfoot or any prior mayor after her will care about the people of Chicago. I mean, come on. It's out of control, man. You got young, impressionable kids coming up and doing the same thing over and over again. And I feel so bad for them, man. Seriously. I know it's like, it's not, it's not cool, man. It's not cool, you know. Glorify when we're younger, but then when you get older, you start to realize, like, geez, people are just, you know, passing away for no reason. Okay, so let's talk about academics in Adam 22. I saw the long, I didn't know it was going to be that long. I started watching it. It got kind of funny, but so academics, I know why he's, I know why he's mad. From the beginning of Adam 22's career, leaving BMX biking and attaching himself to hip hop because it's profitable. Um, I, I mean, he does have some love for it. He caught a lot of good interviews in the beginning. You know, X, Takashi, a bunch of people that became bigger artists, okay? I watched Adam when he first started his podcast. I thought, it was, I, I always like to watch new things. I was getting more into the YouTube side of things then. I had already done, uh, you know, had a record label distributed through uh, Red Music, I mean, uh, Columbia through Caroline, uh, where I distributed like Mob Deep stuff, Infamous Mob. Then um, I did hip hop DVDs, the Come Up DVD. I did the you know World Star. Then I did commercials, like music videos. You know what I've done? I've done a lot of media stuff. Okay. And eventually, then I just when YouTube wasn't profitable. I, that's why I wasn't doing it back then. It wasn't profitable. It didn't become profitable to 2012. Was I late to it? Yeah. Started doing around 2015. So Academics is clearly a pioneer on YouTube for hip hop. I'll give him that for sure. And he inspires someone like Adam 22. And Adam 22 and him talked early on. Uh, Adam 22 is with this girl named Lena, if you don't know. And Lena was on Academics podcast before Adam even met her. She had was managing some. Uh, how do I say it on here without getting? <laughs> stars that would be uh, explicit stars let's put it like that she was managing people like that that's how her and adam met he was having people like that on his podcast 
so on and so on. When she was on Academics Podcast, I guess she mentioned having allegedly six guys with her at one time. Since then, you know, Academics and um, Adam were 22 were cool. A lot of accusations came out against Adam 22 as he rose to fame in around 2016. And Academics helped him through that. He had a long interview with Adam and walked him through it. Even though Adam ended up losing his record deal, um, he still walked him through it. And then later, Adam starts doing interviews with, well, he entertains and reposts some stuff about acad- academics had this girlfriend and, you know, she started, left him and started dating some other rapper. And he kind of reposted some stuff about that, I guess. Also had some girl named Selena Powell on. We all know who that is. She causes a lot of turmoil with rappers. Was in the middle of that Offset and Cardi B thing. She was in the middle of this Takashi and Academics thing where she made accusations against Academics and Takashi. She told that story on Adam's uh, podcast recently or within a year. Adam laughed about it. Then he had Sarah Molina on, which is Takashi's baby mom. She talked about Academics. Then, you know, it's different stuff. Different different things where Adam was kind of joking about academics. Now, academics probably felt slighted because he had Adam's back and Adam, he felt like Adam should shut down stuff. The cruel thing is, is there's no friends in this music business. I've had to realize this early on. I helped a lot of rappers become millionaires. Did they ever reach back to me? No. So people are out for themselves in this business. Ad, and Adam and, you know, uh, academics kept disrespecting Adam, bringing up the fact that his girl was had six guys. <laughs> but, you know, I don't think that phases Adam or Lena because they have a uh, OnlyFans. They, they openly do these type of things. They're different, okay? Um, academics tried to paint him as, uh, you know, white guy in the music industry type of thing. You know, academics tried a lot of different things. He wasn't making clear points, and they circled around for four hours of academics yelling at him, <laughs> trying to make a point. But I got his point. I knew what it was, this was all about in the beginning. It was about that. That he had Adam's back, and at one point, Adam didn't have his back. He took down some videos for Adam about Lena before Lena was with Adam and was on academics' platform. I get it. But there's no loyalty in this. And I hope uh, academics realizes that. Am I choosing a side? No, Adam had a, Adam made defended himself well, but it was just nonsense for like three or four hours. I can't believe I watched the whole thing, but it was just funny. The, <laughs> the reactions of everybody, honestly. Um, it got heated. It got a little crazy. Takashi even joined in uh, because... Adams interviewed everybody but Takashi about everything that happened with Takashi. Um, I don't know, man. The whole thing was really dumb. But uh, check it out. I'm sure it's going to be on Adams' page as a replay. I appreciate you guys. Um, tell me what you guys thought about it below. I'll check you guys the next one. This is Jordan Tower JT News. I hope you guys have a great day today. Stay positive. Keep that energy away from you. And I'll check you guys on the next one.